Hello, everybody. My name is Al DePaulo, and I'm the Partner Products Manager over here at Bobcat. Today, I wanted to take a quick look at uh, how you can use your fourth axis for um, engraving, like engraving around the cylinder. So the first thing that we want to make sure we do when uh, working with four axis is you want to make sure you load a four axis machine. Now if you haven't set up a machine yourself, what you can do is pick the generic BC four axis mill. Um, in this case, I'm going to use the Herco four axis mill that I have set up. Okay, either will work the generic four axis or one that you've previously set up. Okay, what that does is tell the software that you're uh, running on a four axis machine. Uh, the next thing that I want to look at is uh, I want to run my uh, stock wizard. So I'm going to do a stock wizard, cylindrical stock. Uh, the stock is going to be along the x axis. And what I'm going to do is determine uh, the diameter. So let's say I'm running on a three inch diameter and it's, you know, four inches in height. Okay. So we'll set our diameter. Uh, the next thing that I want to do is set where my zero is. Uh, you can zero on the top, you could zero um, on the center, I mean that's up to you. In this case I'm going to say I'm touching off on the top, so I'm going to pick the top and then I'm going to click OK. Alright, so now what I need to do in the software to tell it that I'm going to do a wrapping because I'm, I'm going to lay out my text flat and then I'm going to wrap it to the cylinder is I need to set up a wrapping group so I'll go to my milling stock right click I'm going to do insert or add wrapping group that will be fine I want to edit my wrapping group uh, my wrapping group diameter, I'm on a 3 inch diameter, so it's 3 inches. And because I zeroed the top of my uh, part uh, as my origin, what I want to do is tell it from where the origin is to the center line what that distance is. And in this case, it's uh, minus 1.5. And then we'll choose OK. All right. So now from here, I want to lay out some text. So I'm just going to do text. And uh, in this example, it's going to be PN number L123. I'll set my text height. I'll add a little additional spacing. I'm going to just use the Bobcat font. Now, normally, if you just go to place this on the screen, it's going to be running um, parallel to the X axis. So, what I want to do is I'm going to add an angle of 90. And then now you can see it's going to run uh, along, and or I could do angle minus 90 or whatever. Just a little quick trick there. All right, so now we have our L and our number. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is uh, just do some engraving. Mill to axis, engraving. We'll go ahead and select our geometry. Uh, from here, we'll define our cutter. Now, um, in the version 25, you can't call a V-tip cutter, uh, so your your tool number is going to determine your cutter. I'm going to just make this 030. Uh, make sure to set your speeds and feeds uh, to what's appropriate for your equipment and material. Uh, set your cutting depth to how deep you want to go, and then compute. And that has gone ahead and generated your uh, four axis routine. Now I know it doesn't look at, look like it, um, but it actually is running in four axis. If you post this, you'll see in your code here, you'll get a bunch of A movements to come in and, uh, or in this example, I'm sorry, B movements. Uh, that doesn't look correct to me, but it um, depends on uh, the machine definition as far as uh, what axis is being controlled. Let's go ahead and run this through our simulation. Now this particular simulation, I have machine, uh, I have my sh machine definition set up, so I get to see the whole machine and everything else. Um, I'm just going to turn that off and just go to the material view in just a second here once it finishes loading. So here we can see our tool, and we can play this through, and you can see that it's going to cut along that OD, and it's going to put that part number into the part. So that's just a quick example of utilizing your uh, uh, wrapping groups for engraving along a cylinder. Now, you know, just to kind of real quick to, if I just change this machine over and I set this up to be our generic machine, uh, BC four axis mill, I should get an A axis when I post down here. 
Yeah, and these are all A-axis here. So again, your machine definition plays a role in your posting, so you want to make sure that's correct. But uh, if you have any questions, uh, reply back in the thread on the Facebook page or on the YouTube. And uh, again, until we talk next, thank you so much, guys.